Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this problem. Find the equation of the line which is passing through 1 comma 1 and at a distance of 3 units from minus 2 comma 3. So we have coordinate axis, we have point 1 comma 1, we have another point minus 2 comma 3. Now we need the straight line which is passing through 1 comma 1 at a distance of 3 units from minus 2 comma 3. So the straight line can be one straight line we know is basically nothing but a line parallel to y axis because passing through 1 comma 1 at a distance of 3 units. Another straight line will be we have to find out the equation of the straight line. So what is our approach? to find to solve this particular problem. Let us have a look at that. First let us draw this straight line, how this straight line will come. This is one straight line which will satisfy both the conditions. Let us say that it is at a distance of 3 units from the point minus 2 comma 3 and also passes through 1 comma 1. The other straight line will be the one which is passing through 1 comma 1 and parallel to y axis. So, this is one line which will satisfy the condition that it passes through 1 comma 1 and a distance of 3 units. Another line, we will find out both the equations of the line. We know this equation is x equal to 1, but this equation we will try to find out. Now, this line, whatever we have here is passing through 1 comma 1 is at a distance of 3 units from the point minus 2 comma 3. Now, what is our approach? to solve this particular problem. So let us write down the approach. What are the observations or what points we are going to use to solve this particular problem. Number 1. We know that the line, let the equation of the line be ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now our first observation is that 1 comma 1 is a point on the line. Let us see if this line is P or something. So we can say that 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 is a point on line P. Second observation we have is whenever we say distance between a point and line it is always perpendicular distance. So I can say perpendicular distance perpendicular distance from let us give a name to this we have not given any name let us say from P oh, we have taken already P we will not take it let us say that is equal to some X from X to line P we know that is equal to 3 units so these are the two properties are two conditions which we will use to solve this particular problem. So first I will go ahead and write down 1 comma 1 is a point on ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now what will happen based on that? We know that if 1 is a 1, 1 comma 1 is a point then we know 1 comma 1 is a point on ax plus by plus c equal to 0 then it will become a into 1 plus b into 1 plus c equal to 0. Can I write down a plus b plus c is equal to 0 or can I say c equal to minus of a plus b. This is our equation number 1. Now second condition what is that perpendicular distance from x to p is 3 units. Let us go to that and see what we got we will write down here from the first condition we got c equal to minus of a plus b that is the condition what we got. So now let us go to the second point that is perpendicular distance from point x that is minus 2 comma 3 to the straight line p is 3 units. Now substituting 
the formula for perpendicular distance we get the formula is a x 1 suppose this is x 1 comma y 1 the formula is a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c divided by square root of a square plus b square that is a perpendicular distance formula but we know that is equal to 3 units. So, we will write down x 1 y 1 is minus 2 comma 3. So, it will be a into minus 2 plus b into 3 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square is equal to 3. Now, we know that c equal to minus a minus b. So, can we leverage that and write down minus 2 a plus 3 b instead of c can I write down minus a minus b divided by root of a square plus b square is equal to 3. Now, let us simplify that we have minus 3 a plus 2 b divided by root of a square plus b square equal to 3. Now, let us square it up on both the sides. We will get 3a minus 2b whole square is equal to 3 square into a square plus b square. Now, let us open the brackets expand that we will have 9 a square plus 4 b square minus 12 a b is equal to 9 a square plus 9 b square. We can cancel 9 a square 9 a square. So, what we get now is that minus 12 a b is equal to 5 b square or can I say can I say that 5 b square plus 12 a b is equal to 0. We take b common, we get b into b into 5b plus 12a is equal to 0. That means, either b equal to 0 or 5b plus 12a equal to 0 or can I say b equal to 0 or b equal to minus of 12 a divided by 5 minus 12 a divided by 5. Now, let us go back to our equation. What is our equation? a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. So, or can I say the equation of the line is a x plus b y plus c that is nothing but minus a minus b. So, can I say a x plus b y minus a minus b equal to 0. Now, let us go there and substitute the value of b so that we can get the equation. So, first time I will write down b equal to 0. I will have a x plus 0 y minus a minus 0 equal to 0 or can I say a x minus a equal to 0 can I take a common a into x minus 1 equal to 0 a is not equal to 0 therefore one equation is x equal to 1 which is nothing but this equation what we guess earlier. So, that is one equation which is x equal to 1. What is the other equation? Let us try to find out. For the next one, let us put b equal to minus 12a by 5. So, it will become a x a x plus b is minus 12a by 5 into y minus a minus b that is minus 12a by 5 minus b minus of minus. So, it will become plus. Now, multiply you can take out a out because all terms have a. Can I write down x minus 12 y by 5 minus 1 plus 12 by 5 equal to 0. Now, simplify this and multiply with 5. You get 5 x minus 12 y plus 7 is equal to 0. 
So the equation of the straight line which passes through 1 comma 1 and at a distance of 3 units from minus 2 comma 3 is given by two equations. One equation is x equal to 1, another is 5x minus 12y plus 7 equal to 0. So what's the approach we have followed? We took 1 comma 1 is a point, so we got a plus b plus c equal to 0. We want to get rid of that constant term c, we have written it as minus of a plus b. Then we know perpendicular distance from the point to the line is 3. So we have leveraged the perpendicular distance formula and we got two conditions that 1 is b equal to 0 or b equal to minus 12a by 5. We substituted them in our equation that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 or ax plus by minus a minus b equal to 0. Now we substituted b value in terms of a. We got two equations. One is 5x minus 12y plus 7 equal to 0 and the other is x equal to 1. So that's one interesting example thought of sharing with you. Thanks for your time and support. Please do let me know your feedback. Bye for now.